Hello everyone and welcome back to some rapid action on leeches. Uh, I'm not as frequent as I was in my games, but um, yeah, now we have some time. I'm going to play one 10 minute game per player as zero seconds increment. So let's get started. And uh, yeah, let's see who our opponent is for this one. As usual, we'll be okay. We have the white pieces. Our opponent is Plea 27 from Egypt, and we're gonna <clears throat> uh, we're gonna start it off with e4. Okay, e5, knight f3. We're gonna go for the standard stuff, anything that can lead us to the Evans Gambit, and we're gonna play bishop to c4, where he either allows us. To, oh yeah, he allows us to go for the Evans, and uh, this is already a victory for White, as you'll see. Okay, c3, d4. Uh, yeah, we could castle, we could go queen b3. Let's go queen b3 first. And for those of you who haven't seen uh, my um, tutorial on the Evans Gambit, first link in the description below, uh, already reached uh, a million views. Uh, so I, as promised, I will deliver uh, a sequel. And uh, yeah, okay, he plays queen e7, he wants to go after the e4 pa pawn, and bishop to a3, he can easily meet with uh, d6. So we're just gonna castle here, and we're gonna wait to see what he does with the knight on g8. Of course, if knight f6, we're gonna advance the pawn, and uh, if he plays d6 now, well, we have a couple of options, but uh, <clears throat> uh, we, can, we can still go for bishop to, to a3, followed by some e5 action. Or if he goes for captures on c3, which I do not recommend, uh, then he allows our knight into the game. We, we get the d5 square for our knight, so we'll have to figure out how to go about this. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Let's see what he does. Time to spend some time. Uh, knight h6, uh, if you are wondering about this, of course, isn't all that impressive. Uh, maybe it can be done, I don't know. Like uh, giving up, uh, no, he goes for knight to f6, and we're gonna uh, advance the pawn all the way to e5. <clears throat> uh, let's see what he does here. Doesn't look uh, all that impressive, as uh, he will have to worry about bishop to a3 now. Okay, he goes knight e4. Yeah, okay, let's go bishop to a3. I don't know about this. What's What's the option for black here maybe he can even allow this but i don't i don't think he can okay hmm I'm thinking about bishop captures on d6. Sort of, if he captures with the queen, I have bishop captures on f7. If he captures with the knight, attacks my bishop, I have rook e1. And then he can play, well, he can't really play bishop to e6 because we're just going to capture it. But if he goes back with knight to e4, that's the real question here. Then uh, he, of course, yeah, no longer has to worry about this. Yeah, it's a interesting, interesting maneuver. <clears throat> Uh, but what about bishop to d5? That's also a nice question. Yeah, because we're threatening rook e1 and then he's not going to be able to play f5 due to the pin. He will have to play bishop to f5. Yeah, I don't know. Just looks uh, looks very weird. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. Maybe there's a nicer way to go about this, but uh, I don't think there is. Yeah, we'll see what it does. Maybe bishop to e6 now? Okay, I, I haven't considered that. But still, rook e1. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens. That's, uh, that's the great thing about playing the Evans Gambit. You always allow your opponent to do the, the hard work when it comes to thinking, and then you just decide on the position that he, he chooses. So we'll see what uh, what he does. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, if he can castle, then it's perfectly fine. It, it just looks like he shouldn't be able to. Yeah, because if he castles like rook e1, and then if he tries bishop to f5, I can go again, attack the knight with knight to d2. Ah, okay. Yeah, knight to d2, not the most impressive, as he also will be attacking my queen, but then 
Uh, yeah, then we can also play uh, queen a5 to get out of the way. Yeah, too complicated to calculate. We'll just uh, wait and see what he does. Probably he castles here. Yeah, he does castle here. All right, let's see what we what we what we didn't calculate and what he calculated. And now we said that okay, uh, we can go for. Yeah, probably this knight comes. <laughs> this knight comes to d two. Huh? Or not? Yeah, or not. Yeah, probably we, we capture first, but then we allow d5. Yeah, but d5 isn't really... Huh. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, now let's go, let's go for development. Yeah, he does seem to be... Playing this very nicely, so maybe bishop to d5 wasn't the exact best way to go about things. Uh, but still, we're going to have a nice position, hopefully. He does have a weakness on b7, he does have a weakness on, b on d6. Yeah, now he has to capture and attack my queen, which is what we were trying to get all along. Yeah, but then he can't go. Yeah, yeah okay, it's, uh, I guess it's fine. <clears throat> I don't get that much out of the position, but uh, yeah, once he moves his queen, we can also go for knight to c4, but it doesn't look that impressive. Yeah, knight c4, maybe he captures on c3, I capture on d6. Uh, again, all depends on what he does with the queen. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, not not very proud of uh, how things went. Uh, usually you, you want to have a clear way of what you're doing, which I do not here. So we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if there's anything uh, else to consider even. Because if he doesn't take it, he's just going to be down material. Could maybe play bishop captures on c3, but... I don't think it does all that much. Yeah, because then we just capture, and if he takes the rook, we still have bishop captures on d6. Yeah, it's a, it's a really ugly position to calculate. Uh, but he should play it. I mean, if he's not considering bishop captures on c3, this is the only move. Uh, which is funny, whenever I say about a position that this is the only move, it, it most often is not. <laughs> and then he just plays something that I haven't considered. Yeah, he goes for it, okay. Very nice. Yeah, okay, queen f6. And, uh... Okay, so that's how he'll do it. Alright, and then he wants to capture, okay. So, uh, putting the queen to f6 is definitely the way to go. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for queen captures on b7. We're going to give up the c3 pawn. And when he captures, probably probably rook d1. But no, rook d1, there, there's no really point to making that move he can always just attack it further with bishop here maybe yeah uh, okay we'll see we'll, we'll see what he finds 
So if, if we're counting material, he's up upon now, which is fine. Uh, but he's gonna grab another one. And then we have to figure out how to how to recollect some material. We're gonna go rook d1 here. I'm gonna go rook d1, and now, okay, he does go for bishop to c2. Okay, we're gonna take on c6. That's uh, that that was kind of the plan all along. And what are we missing here? Okay. Well, I'm not really convinced of that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the we're we're gonna take the bishop. I don't have to worry about captors and captors and rook here. Uh, and uh, if the queen moves, my bishop is guarding checkmate, so that's working very nicely for me. Yeah, so we have two pieces for the rook, and he's up two pawns. So it's a, I don't know, crazy, crazy position. Uh, he might even just capture because, well, this, okay, a bishop is a bishop, but this knight, if it lands on e4, uh, that, that's going to be a beautiful piece. Okay, so now he's definitely looking into capturing uh, the knight in order to uh, produce a checkmate. Uh, but after knight e4, attacking the queen and bishop captures on d6, I'm just going to be up too much material, I think. Yeah, I have no idea what he has planned for this. Uh, knight e4. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see a move. Knight e4, rook back to c8? Nah. That's just not going to work. Okay, queen g6. For whatever reason. What's what's the what's the deal here? I could even eliminate no eliminating the bishop just gives him a nice passed pawn, uh, which we can take. But it's better maybe to capture here and then take the rook. There's really no way for him to stop that. Um, like what bishop captures what rook c8 then. Okay, perhaps, perhaps. So it's maybe stronger to capture with the queen. Uh, uh huh, huh. So do I want the queens on the board here or do I want the queens off the board? That's the question. Yeah, we still have some time. Let's uh, let's calculate this properly. Can even give up the queen for the for the two rooks, and I think we're still winning with that. And it might be an even uh, might even be no no we can't really no not really. Yeah, that's a shame. So. Queen captures would probably be the cleanest way to play this. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this is best. Yeah, it's not a not a fancy way of ending the game, but uh Yeah, what are you gonna do?
So now if he takes, of course, Bishop Captors will take the rook on f8. Uh, okay, so he has to keep the game going. He goes after my rook here, which is fine. Uh, I mean, f3 followed by... But no, f3 is just fine. Yeah, we're going to go f3. Now if rook d8, uh, we can actually play queen g3. And if he takes the bishop, knight f6, check wins the queen with a, with a triple fork. Maybe there are other moves, but... Yeah, after queen g3, I don't see a lot for him, really. Oh no, he actually can play rook d8, queen g3. No, he still play, he still can play queen captors on d5. That's the, uh, that's the nice thing about this position, yeah. Now, he can't even save the rook, because if he moves the rook again, knight f6 check, uh, it's just ugly for him. Yeah, he can't take with the rook or with the queen, that's nice. Okay, okay, so he just uh, frees up the, the f6 square for the bishop. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the only thing he can do. Do we have a way of uh, stopping this? Yeah, it's actually a nice move. <laughs> nice move. Okay, so we'll put the bishop back to b3. And uh, his bishop is hanging. So he'll probably play bishop to e5. Yeah, okay, he got a lot more out of the position than I thought he would. So... Good, good for him. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, now bishop d5 only. Oh, okay, bishop d4 also. Um, yeah, what to play here? I'm gonna put my king on h1. Uh, just to make sure he doesn't have any tricks here, like like this. Maybe no, he goes after this. Okay. Okay, let's see what he what he what he has. Knight g5. Let's threaten to pick up his queen. It's a dangerous pass pawn, and all, I'm already down to the last minute. So that's not not the best. And we have to also free up our uh, our, our king a little bit. He, he can probably just play something like maybe no, he can't play that, but probably defending f7 with a with a what. Yeah, this is uh, turning out to be a really, really fine game. Probably it was full of mistakes and both of us missed uh, a lot of stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, still, still, yeah, probably just rookies. No, you can't play that. The bishop covers that, so rook d7 is the way to go, but then he runs into a skewer. Yeah, I don't know what to play this with, how to play this with black. It just seems... Uh, Okay, so he goes back, he has to give it up. Okay, so we will take it. We'll take it and we'll just go for a nice... What? Knight captures on f7. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful stuff here. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, it does look very nice. Because if he takes his checkmate, takes with the queen, I take the queen. Okay, bishop f2, he wants to try some last second trickery. Uh, we don't care about that. We'll just go here. Nothing really changes. Now the threat is a double check followed by checkmate. Bishop c5. He has that. Wow, okay. Yeah, does this really change anything? Go to f6. And that's it. Maybe some other moves also were possible. Yeah, I think he resigns now. Okay. So it was a, a very difficult game for me. I thought it uh, would be much easier, you know, since uh, he did go for the... Uh, allowed me to play the Evans Gambit, but 30 moves, uh, yeah, not, not terrible. But we'll see what our good friend the engine has to say. Okay, so we've covered this many, many times. Queen b3, 
Uh, other moves are possible. You could capture on d4, you could castle, you could go queen b3, uh, as uh, we have covered that in the tutorial. Uh, if you want to learn how to play the events gambit, first link in the description below. Queen e7, okay, I castle knight f6, I play d5. Yeah, already e5 uh, does appear to be uh, asking for, for trouble. Uh, knight capture is obviously best. Uh, and then, well, okay, I still... I still like my position as white here, but it is the, the cleanest way to play this with black. Uh, but he was afraid of opening up the e-file, so he played knight to e4. And now it says that he is already lost, but I didn't uh, play it properly. Yeah, I, I was too ambitious with rook to e1. Uh, sorry, with bishop to e3. Uh, even though bishop to e3 is the second move the engine recommends and still gives me a fair advantage, c captures on d4. Uh, is just uh, the, the way to go. Now, if he, for example, castles, then you can go for... Uh, yeah, it says queen to e3. The knight is just placed very weirdly here. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, even suggest knight captures on f2. Okay, something, definitely something to remember. Uh, but he castled, I played... Uh, sorry, no, no, he didn't castle. Uh, I played bishop to a3, he played d6, and I played captures. Okay, the engine gives bishop to d5 first. Not after captures like I've played it, but okay, still uh, not not bad for white. He castled, I played rook to e1, he played the bishop to f5, and I played knight to d2, which is now better for him. Yeah, it was better to capture first. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't like this, because what? Captures, captures, knight b to d2, and what was I afraid of here? What, d5? Oh no, there's bishop captures on Asa, so I have no idea. I think I saw ghosts here. Yeah, I saw ghosts here. Uh, my bad. Okay, so he takes, and that's why we got into a lot of trouble. Queen to f6. Uh, yeah, queen to c7, obviously better, but uh, I, I also couldn't figure out what he would play. I actually thought queen to f6 was very nice, and it does give him a solid advantage. I played queen captures on b7, he played bishop captures on c3, rook a d1, okay. And now with bishop to c2, see that's interesting because bishop to c2 is the first move that I thought of uh, and he played it fairly quickly, but it doesn't uh, appear to be very good. It gives him a double a double question mark and uh, I captured on c6. Yeah, I captured here, I captured uh, sort of better is knight to e4 first for some reason. Ah, for the reason that it's better for him to capture on d2 first. And then go rook eight to c eight. But I thought this was perfectly fine, as my bishop covers the c one square. And then what? Queen b five, bishop queen e five. Okay. Uh, but uh, still, I like uh, g gives an equal game. Uh, he played the rook here, another double question mark for him, and I played knight to e four. And this is where the position becomes very difficult for him. Queen g six. I captured on d six. Yeah, it was the correct choice. The engine says this is the the best move, but uh, yeah, I took like two or three minutes uh, deciding on this. So queen captures. Queen to h five. I played f three. He played rook to d eight, and now uh, queen to g three. Oh, also queen to c six is fine. Uh, because uh, ah, because okay, the rook will still be under attack. And now if he captures, I capture, he captures, I just take, the, oh, I take the bishop. Wow, very nice. And of course, uh, he cannot take as the rook would hang. And if he goes after my bishop, I can just capture the rook. Yeah, okay. So queen to c6 was also fine. I uh, was already very low on the clock and I found queen g3. And now if he takes with either queen or rook, he just blunders a piece. He found this very nice move. I played bishop back to b3, squandering my advantage. Yeah, it was just better to take the free bishop. Uh, yeah, because then the the bishop is just defended. But yeah, okay, minute on the clock, you will make silly moves. Uh, but still a winning position for me. So bishop d4 checking, h1, rook f8, and I played knight to g5. Yeah, I didn't find a way out, uh, out for him. He played uh, rook f8, captures, captures. And now knight captures on f7. Yeah, very nice. He played bishop to f2. I played the queen to d6. Uh, and now it's just a mate in 5. I played queen to f6. And he resigned here because whatever he does, knight to h6 uh, will just be a nice um, uh, double check checkmate. So yeah, it was uh, not, not the best play by me. Uh, but yeah, you've seen... Uh, I mean, it's very hard to play against the Evans Gambit. And even though, you know, someone plays e5 against you, I, I even get a question mark for this. And, uh, you know, the opponent just doesn't capture, doesn't believe it's possible. When, in fact, it is the way to go. 
So yeah, nice victory for the Evans Gambit. I was able to trick my opponent. Uh, and yeah, this time I take the point. Next time it will be my opponent taking the point. Make no mistakes there. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.